God is present at all times, everywhere. But not all people can feel him and hear him. Most people are governed by the senses of the flesh. Therefore, the spiritual realm is foolishness to them. Intellectual wisdom cannot perceive the things of the spirit because human mind cannot find and determine God. To be able to start listening to the voice of God, you don't have to become a priest, a preacher or a pastor. You don't need earthly wisdom. To the contrary, you have to put to death the deeds of the flesh, not just those you feel comfortable with, and you have to deny your intellect, which is you basically. Everything you've been taught and all the things your mind thinks are logical, you deny them. If you put away your earthly desires and you turn away from sin, you become like little children. And this is the only way you can be guided by the Holy Spirit and become a disciple of Jesus Christ. If you keep yourself pure and holy, then the Spirit of God comes and dwells in you and you become sensible at the guidance of the Spirit and you learn the voice of the Lord in this way. The guidance of the Spirit of God is the voice of the Lord and like any relationship you have to keep in step with the Spirit of God to learn to discern between the voice of the Lord, your own intellect or the voice of the enemy. Yes, God can speak with a clear voice, but without faith we cannot please God. It's written, the righteous shall live by faith. Therefore, God will also speak through dreams, visions, He can speak through hardship, sickness, and everyday circumstances. Remember this, nothing is a coincidence in the life of a disciple of Jesus Christ because he directs your steps all the time. Keeping in step with the Spirit of God is very important. It's the only way you become sensible to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. But it all starts with self-denial. Because human intellect is contrary to the wisdom of God. I read in Matthew chapter 11 verse 25. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank you Father Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent, and have revealed them to babes. Keep yourself holy. Deny yourself and start building your relationship with Jesus. This relationship does not come with sacrifices only, actually comes with many benefits which you have to live to understand. I pray more people reconcile with God and live by the Spirit. This is the only way you can truly experience God. Seek Jesus with faith. My Jesus bless you.